Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a tag video of my top five most repurchased items. So these are items that I have owned again and again and I keep going back to purchase more. So I have a couple of cheats and then five actual items. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you are the Kroger brand makeup remover cleansing towelettes. And there are 30 towelettes in here for removing your makeup. I actually have one here that I have slightly used, but barely. Um, I just used it to clean up my winged liner, so it's just the, the end is dirty. But um, these are just the right amount of moisture on them, just the right amount of not moisture. You know, have you ever had makeup wipes that are too wet? Um, and I will say this is kind of a cheat because my other favorite are e.l.f. wipes, but I don't have any e.l.f. ones at the moment. But these are about $2.00. For 30 wipes so if maybe like you have your name brand ones that you like really love but Kroger is sold at Fry's and Kroger um, but if you're like in between and you haven't had time to go to Sephora and pick up your name brand ones you can always go to the grocery store like I do and pick up their name brand one or their store brand ones and they're actually really good so that's my first one I go through those I probably repurchased them I don't even know how many times a lot the other thing I've repurchased a million times, this is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser, um, oil free, and this is the face cleanser that I keep inside my shower all the time. I have had this in my shower probably 10 years, I mean not this one, but I have, I bought, bought it in bulk before from Amazon, you can buy um, six at a time, like <laughs> in bulk, and it saves you a lot of money. So I've actually bought six before. Um, and I really like this. It does have um, a little bit of salicylic acid, but not a lot. Um, it's just a, a good cream cleanser, so I really like that. And it's like $5. Um, I do have another cleanser that kind of rotates all the time at my sink, but that's the one I keep in my shower. Okay, so here's a few products that I've been loving. Um, the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is my second one. I have another one in my drawer, and as you can see, I've hit pan. I will continue to repurchase this. Um, because I know I already had makeup on, I'm like making it worse probably. Um, uh, but I love this bronzer. If you haven't seen it, um, it is, it's just perfect and you need to try it. Um, go to Sephora and try it out because Benefit Hula Bronzer, read the reviews. It is like my absolute favorite. It's just enough cool tone so you can contour with it and bronze with it. I often use this as both. I don't contour and then bronze. I tend to use Hoola as both because it's like that perfect medium. And it is matte, so if you have any texture to your skin like I do, you won't have any problems. What do you think of this glitter today? Is it weird? It's a little weird, but I'm working on it. Um, that is a Sephora glitter liner. Totally not part of the video. A Sephora um, glitter mascara liner thingy in Rose Romantique Sweetheart Pink. And it is like a mascara wand and also a liner wand. It's like so goopy. But these are $4, $5 at Sephora. Anyway, I don't use the mascara wand, but I did just kind of like outline my wing with it and put a little bit on the lid. Side note, okay. The other product. I just, weird that I have repurchased MAC products like the most. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is the newer packaging, but I've had it in the older packaging. This is the most beautiful highlight. If you haven't seen this before, I'm going to swatch it for you right now. That's a very generous swatch, but I love this highlighter. I I often get away from using it, and then I'm like, why don't I use that? And this is a permanent one. It's not limited edition. They've had it for years. Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle by MAC is amazing, and I've purchased it several times. Um, another thing would be the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I think I have seven of them. I didn't purchase all seven at once. I like bought one, then went back and got another one, then got another one, then got another one, then got another one. But my favorite is NARS Anita, and I'm actually like halfway done with the tube. Just the most perfect, everyday, nudie, mauve pink. Um, and of course, it's in my purse because I use it so much. But um, this one is Live, which, yeah, I don't wear that every day. But anyway, um... I really like this formula. If you haven't tried it, go swatch them at Sephora. They're amazing. Um, this is my cheat. This is not one of my five, okay? This is my first one and of this type, and it's only like the third time I've used it. But this is the Giorgio Armani, um, what are these called? Lip Maestro, and this is in number 501. Um, it's like a liquid lipstick, velvet lipstick matte pencil. 
I don't even know. It's like a gloss wand, super pigmented, matte liquid lipstick type of thing in a gloss formula. I don't even know how to explain it. And I'm telling you right now, it's on my lips. And I think that I'm going to repurchase that a million times because there's my cheat. I haven't actually repurchased it yet, but I will be. The formula, I mean, I've had it on for a few minutes and or a few minutes, maybe like an hour. And I can still do this. It's still really creamy. It feels so good on the lips. Can't recommend it enough. Um, just a couple more things. I know I don't even know how many I had, but NYX Butter Glosses. I use these as lipstick toppers. This is tiramisu, but I have like 10 or 15 colors. Um, I use these as lipstick toppers all the time. Anytime my lips are like a little bit too matte or not moisturized feeling, I will totally go for one of my NYX Butter Glosses. And then um, I also have purchased the trying to grab it for you. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz several times. I want to try when I run out of one of these. I'm some of these. I'm going to try the um, NYX one next, I think, because they're half the price or less than half the price. So I'll definitely want to try those next. But I have repurchased these. These aren't my first ones and I probably will continue to repurchase them. But I'm definitely going to give the try to some drugstore brands lately and um, a few other brands because I know that they've been stepping up their game and I need to stop getting being a high-end brand snob and like try out other brands. Um, and I also think that now that I've tried these two mascaras, they're not in my five, but I'm telling you they will be repurchased. Um, this is the YSL Mascara Volume Effect Fossil. It's like my favorite. And the Benefit Roller Lash. If you haven't tried either of these, um, Benefit I think is like $25 and the YSL one's like $34 or something approximately. But they're amazing. So um, you definitely need to try them. I'm like or look up reviews on it and see I'm not the only one like this stuff is so good it smells good the formula is good it's healthy for your lashes the benefit one you don't have to curl your lashes it saves you a step in the morning okay so I guess we'll see did I have five I had my cleanser my makeup wipes NARS audacious lipsticks benefit hula the mineralized skin finish NYX butter glosses and then my cheats the Giorgio Armani lip gloss and the mascaras and yeah, I think that's it. So those are my most repurchased items or items that I know I'm going to be repurchasing because I absolutely love them. I will add uh, MAC blushes. I've repurchased those so many times. Um, particular, I like Sunbath, Spring, Spring Sheen, Blush Baby. They're all some of my favorites. Thank you so much, Harker Beauty, for tagging me in this video. And I tag anybody who wants to answer, what are your five most repurchased items? If you want, you can leave them in the description box or do another video of your own if you do videos on your channel and tell me what your favorites are. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.